On average, one in four of you in this classroom would be involved in human trafficking against your will. That is the basis in Thailand. Imagine if one in four of you were in that. The issues of human trafficking in Thailand are going to continue to rise. The more of an international cause and attention this gets, the more we can stop to prevent it. I was blessed with the opportunity to go to Thailand in 2016 on a mission trip where I firsthand experienced the red light district and the severity of those issues and what occurs there. I really got to see and open my eyes into the real life issue of what human trafficking is. Human trafficking is destroying Thailand. Due to the immense poverty and lack of resources within Thailand, human trafficking has become more and more dangerous. It's attacking more and more victims daily and we're getting more people involved. While there's many reasons for the massive role that human trafficking plays in Thailand, the main reasons are the lack of resources and the high poverty level that Thailand has. Thailand is below the average poverty line. On average, the average person makes 26 baht per day, which is equivalent to 82 US dollars. According to a source from the Global Citizen, that, that all was according to a source from the Global Citizen. So being in Thailand when I was there in 2016, I really got to experience what a third world country looked like. Um, a lot of their, their money comes from cropping and farming. Um, as you can see here in this first part of my visual aid, um, these are a daily picture that you might see. Um, this is what happens. This is what almost every single person in the country does for work. Um, another lack of resource um, that they really struggle with is paying jobs. Um, this leads to food and resource necessities that cannot be accessed. Um, the lack of jobs that pay well. So the average job in Thailand makes $5.50 a day. Um, the main reason for that is that a lot of their jobs are industrial blue collar jobs. Um, rice is a major crop grown in Thailand, according to Intertracing.org in a 2018 article. Um, it's their world's biggest, like Thailand makes the mo world's most um, rice. And then the last reason that there's such a big issue of um, Human trafficking in Thailand is the issue of immigration. Um, immigration is so hard to deal with in Thailand. As you can see here, um, this is at an immigration passport um, stance where they were checking paperwork and lots of families being split up, lots of families forced to be in harsh conditions. Um, most immigrants come from Cambodia, um, in Leo, basically, to Thailand. Um, they're forced into in the human trafficking industry because they don't have access to proper paperwork to even get a job to where they could be farming or cropping or anything like that. Um, according to the Borgen in a 2019 article, um, they st state how severe the issue of trafficking in Thailand is and that people are at risk daily of getting arrested. Um, so another um, picture that I want to highlight is this one. Um, these are some of the harsh conditions that these people live in, unfortunately. Um, these are real, and um, we don't necessarily understand why that occurs. So now that we know why this industry is rising um, and how it will continue to grow because of the harsh conditions and that those are realities, um, it is affecting people in Thailand. It is all, um, all over the world, but especially the population in Thailand. So human trafficking continues to grow with more ages. Um, it keeps getting younger and younger. Girls as young as eight years old are getting into the industry. Most of them are forced labor. However, there is some volunteer sexual exploitation because these these families, they, they want their children to go into this industry so they can make more money than they would be able to farm so they can just have things like food or water or better shelter, um, just basic necessities that we always take for granted. Um, according to World Vision, in a blog post, 12% of total victims are under the age of 10 years old. So as you can see here um, in our chart that I made, um, breaking down each age, um, each one of these gets more severe. Um, over 40% of the population of human trafficking victims are under the age of 18. So that could be your sister's age, that could be your friend's age. Um, it's very severe. The next reason why it continues to grow is because it's in a harsh effect that it has is that it's becoming more dangerous. Um, it's illegal activity 
and um, unfortunately, people are responding to that. Um, in 2015, uh, 720 victims were rescued. However, in 2019, that number almost doubled to 1,283 being rescued by the government. So because the government is taking it more seriously and providing more resources to try to prevent it, it's becoming a more dangerous industry. According to a hum the Human Trafficking in Thailand book, um, these numbers are going to continue to grow, which is going to allow people involved in the industry to immediately become more dangerous. It's going to become so more severe. So with all this information, I hope that you feel more aware of the issues that are destroying Thailand. The issues at hand are deserve to be noticed and recognized. Human trafficking is destroying Thailand. Because of the poverty and lack of resources within Thailand, human trafficking is becoming a larger issue and it's creating more victims at younger ages and it's only going to continue to happen. If we do not create more awareness and solutions about this issue, it will only continue to grow. This will only put your family members, friends, and yourself into more danger. This is becoming a harsh reality that deserves your attention.